guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, there is a red subscribe button. Click it so you can see every time I have a new video. So I can't believe I'm already doing this, but this is going to be my six to nine month um, baby essential video. I can't believe I'm in the point where I'm doing a six to nine baby essential video. Like she's growing so quickly. I can't believe it. So I have a few things to talk about. So we don't want a long intro. If you guys want to see what my essentials are for babies that are six to nine months um, and things that have worked for me, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing is this sound machine. I turned it on by accident. Um, I'm not sure if I talked about this in my three to six month essential video. I'm not 100%. If I did, sorry, talking about it again. Um, <laughs> So this is a sound machine that I bought. If I can find it, I will link it. It's um, My Baby by, boy, it's My Baby by Homedics, Homedics, I think is what the brand is called. Um, we, in the beginning, used to use a, um, a video on YouTube that had white noise. It was like for 10 hours and we used to play it on our iPads because we didn't want to spend a ton of money on a sound machine for a baby and we thought, we don't know if she'll like it so we'll just do this. And after a while it became so hard to make sure, you know, the iPads were charged and it didn't stop and if our internet cut out then we would lose it and she would kind of start to wake up. So it became an issue to the point where, you know, we were at Bye Bye Baby and I saw this and I thought, you know what, let's just buy one so that it makes everything easier. So this one um, was actually really affordable. I think at the time, I think it was $29.99, I think. It's either $29 or $39. I'll see if I could link it. Um, but it has a few different sounds. So it's got, um, we, use, oh, we use Ocean. We used to use White Noise. We switched to Ocean. So this is Ocean. It has Cradle, and we used to use this for when she would be like taking a nap. Summer Night, which is kind of like cabiny. Ocean, Brook, which, I don't know. White Noise, which sounds a lot like Ocean. And then Heartbeat. Something about this Heartbeat one like really freaks me out. Like, sounds like something you see in here in a scary movie. I don't know. And because she used to sleep in our bedroom with us, we picked Ocean because it was just, like, a nice, consistent one. Because I thought if I hear Brooke in the night, it's going to make me feel like I want to go to the bathroom. And hearing that, like, cricket sound is just, like, not. I needed something that I could sleep through and not be bothered by. And what I like about this is that I could change the volume and it really does help to block out any other noise. So I still use this for her now that she's in her own room because it really helps to block out what we're doing in the house. So she's not really hearing um, all the noises. And where we live now, we are facing a major road. So there's a lot of traffic going by and we are also near a gas station. So there's just a lot of traffic in the area and it prevents her from having to hear like the cars and everything because she's hearing this. And so you can use it with batteries or you can plug it in. So I use it with batteries um, when, I, I mean, I put batteries in it, but I use it plugged in when I'm at home. And I used to have the batteries in it so that when I went to my parents' house, I could take this and she had that consistency. I liked that it was so easily portable. So I really like this and it's still something we use so much. The next thing that is a favorite is another kind of electronic tech item and this is her baby monitor. So when we moved her to, before we even moved her to her own room, when we were still at the condo, um, I, she started not wanting to sleep in her play yard and so the only place she wanted to sleep was in the bed and I used to side feed her and then get off the bed and put a like mountain of pillows around her so that she would stay asleep because the transfer for her for a little while was really rough and she would always wake up. So I used to just feed her in the bed and leave her there, put pillows. But then I got nervous because she was rolling around and I didn't know, like she was flipping on her stomach and I didn't want, I was so worried about her like falling off the bed and I even at my parents house because then I would be like downstairs. So I didn't like to have to go in and check in on her and see what she was doing and disturb her while she was sleeping. So I realized it was time 
to get a baby monitor. And now obviously because she's in her own room, it's so much easier to be able to see what she's doing. So the one that we have here is Motorola. I don't remember the exact model name, but when I find it, I will link it down below. Um, this one that we bought comes with two cameras. So this is the monitor. It's pretty decent size. Um, and I really like it. They just have, it just has a ton of options, a ton of features on it, and I can definitely kind of like do a review on it, more in-depth review on it, so you guys can kind of see a little bit more about it and the things that I love about it, but this is the one that we use, and we got the one that has two cameras, so this is what the camera looks like. I just didn't want to have to travel back and forth with it, so this is the one that we keep here at home, and then I have the second one that I keep at my parents' house, um, so I just have to bring the monitor back and forth so that makes life 10 times easier but this one you can also I think mount it to the wall if you get the wall mount for it but we just keep it like on her dresser so this one works really well it has great like range I've had really no issues with it and it helps me to feel a lot more calm so those are kind of my tech items um, on to I have one food item which are these pouches um, these pouches I just started using not too long ago it was so much easier in the move and these are so great for like traveling with them so I don't have to travel with a container of the pureed foods that I've made um, so I buy these sometimes on the go and this one is parents choice I pretty much buy any brand I'm not specific on the brand but I do buy the ones that are organic whichever brand I do buy um, and so these are great because they're good for on the go. Like I can throw them in the diaper bag or throw them into her food bag and just take them to my parents' house or if we're going out or things like that. And these are just easy to feed her with. And they come with so many like flavors. Comes with veggies, fruits and veggie mixes, um, and ones with yogurt. So there's just a ton of options. I really like that. In terms of clothing, my favorite for six to nine months is any zipper sleeper so when she was smaller I didn't care whether it was zipper or button um, I think when she was really small buttons were easier because I didn't have to completely undress her in the night I could just do the bottom half change her button her back up we were good she couldn't move she couldn't roll she couldn't do anything so everything was easier then now she's rolling over she's crawling she's kicking she's not wanting to, to lay her down to change her sometimes so I find that zippers are easier especially after bath time when you're trying to get her dressed she's ready to go to bed and she's wanting to like kind of turn up on us this one is so much easier because it's quick to get her in. When she's kicking her legs or she's trying to flip over, you just have to stick her legs in and zip it up. So any any sleeper that has a zipper on it, they're like life-changing for me. Like these are the only ones I want to buy from now on because they're just so much easier for me to deal with. So those are great. Um, the next thing that I have is a toy. This is one that's new for her. And this one, we I don't even know what the official name is. It's a baby Einstein toy. We named him Ollie the Octopus. And um, this is the only one she has that kind of talks. She's had a lot of quiet toys or toys that rattle, toys that don't make noise. But this one was her first one that kind of makes sounds and see and like talks she's a little she, at first she was a little bit scared of it but now she's kind of gotten used to it so I'll kind of show you because it's baby Einstein it plays some really cute like music I love it and then on his legs he has different colors and it has little pictures so he has like a green leaf a yellow star red cherries and so when you squeeze each tentacle yellow. he says the color it says the color and um, then when you press the head it plays music and it has three different languages so it's got English Spanish and French so you can switch them out so I really like it because she likes the music, she likes to like chew on the legs, and also because it's teaching her something, like it's teaching her her colors when she presses the legs, so I really like these toys. I like toys that now for her, I'm trying to think of if it's fun and if it's educational, because she's really at that point where she's absorbing so much and she's learning so much that I want to make sure that her toys are actually going to have an educational purpose as well. And the last item that I have is her bathtub. This is a Fisher Price. So this 
is a Fisher Price bath tub, and um, I love it. It fits into the t into our bathtub easily. Um, she used to use this part, so it comes with kind of like a seat. And then afterwards, I think you can hang it up also, and you can just like, it has a little pouch here where you can put like toys and stuff in. And it does come with uh, two little fish, like little fish cups. I don't even have them, I think they're in the bathroom. But um, one is just solid to play with, and the other one has the little holes, so it just kind of like rains water down. So we use the one to like scoop and put water, pour water on her while she's bathing and she likes to chew on them. So this is the mesh part that you have for when they're smaller that you put them in and the hooks, it has these hooks that hook onto the side of the tub here. So they would hook onto the top of the tub like so. And then on the bottom, it has two different ones. So one for when baby is bigger and one for ba when baby is smaller and you choose the, the length that you want, they'll just, it just determines sort of the tension of it and it hooks onto the bottom and they kind of sit in the sling and you fill up the tub with water. And this part here is just to like empty, drain out the tub, but I usually just turn it over and dump it to drain it. Um, so this one is really good because it kind of helped her to sit in the tub on her own because in the beginning, I don't know, I talked about it, but I was bathing with her in the big tub. It was just easier when she was smaller and it made me feel more comfortable. Um, and then we switched into this one where she would kind of lay in it and then we would bathe her that way. So that made things easier. And also, um, now that she is able to sit up on her own and doesn't really like fall down or anything. We don't use this part anymore. We just sit her in the tub, we fill it up and she plays in there and we will bathe her that way. So I like that this one kind of grows with them because the two sizes you can use when they're really small, when they're a little bit bigger and then when they're able to sit up, they can sit right in the tub and when they outgrow that, they can just go into the big tub. So I really like this one. I think this was a good um, purchase for her. And this is so comfortable. It's easy to clean. This part is easy to clean and I just really, really love it. Hi guys, so there was one more item that I had forgot to film and talk about um, in my six to nine months favorites and that is Mia Rose's high chair. So I did talk about the little portable one that you can attach to the chair um, and that one I mostly use when we're kind of sitting on the couch or whatever on the floor by the TV um, and this one I bought off of a Facebook buy and sell group which was really great because I think originally these chairs are a little bit pricey. Um, so I was really glad that I got this one and it's in really good condition. So that's a little mom tip is that if you're looking for something and you know it might be you know expensive, look for like Facebook, mommy groups, buy and sells, see if you can find it you know in really good condition at a lower price. So this is the Boone High Chair. I can't remember the full name for it but I will link it down below in the description box. And this is the one that we have sitting at our table. So it just sits right up against it. Um, so that if we're ever eating here, um, we can have her in her chair while she's eating. Or if one of us is in the kitchen and she wants to see what we're doing, she can be sitting here eating with you know one of us and then the other one's in the kitchen and she could see what's going on. Because she really likes to be able to see everything. Um, so I really like this one. I feel like it's very functional, easy to like wipe off and clean um, and comfortable. She's still kind of getting used to it, but I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some shots of the whole high chair and kind of how it works.
anyways guys that is it for my six to nine month baby essentials if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and let me know what were your essentials for six to nine months what really worked for you what worked for your baby I'd love to know and I'm sure other moms would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions as well if you guys aren't already please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye